my personal best bet, my soul, but it's not objectively a strong rotation 207, 208. Stanford's heading over up to the Palouse. This is fishy. This is fishy, Tony. This is fishy. (laughs) I don't like like, this. Let me tell people what the the total is 52. (laughs) Before you tell me that that the Cougars might win. Um, I do like the way the the new kid, Delora, is playing really well. Like He's a good-looking kid. He's smooth there. He runs this offense confidently and and I wasn't shocked when I found out that the reason he runs the confidence up as confidently is because he has the same playbook in high school. I was not shocked to learn that. Mm. He is in command and, 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 he, and, he, and he's slippery. Um, but the unvaccinated Rolovich has been conferring with some of the top, <coughs> employment, the top employment lawyers because he has been interested in ensuring his religious exemption gets through. I don't think that that's the right attitude to be taking into an important divisional tilt. I think you should be focused on the game. Rolovich, Rolovich hasn't actually coached in this contest before. They seen him play last year. Um, so I, I, I kind of lean to Coach Shaw, who, as it happens, didn't beat Leach in, in, in any of their meetings. So, Coach Shaw hasn't won against Wazoo since, like, 2013 or something. So, I think coming off the loss against the Sun Devils, we're going to get a very focused team, a very focused game plan. And, uh, and I, I like the way, yeah, I like the way this, this matchup is, is trending in terms of the news coming in. Now, I know you like to say crazy things happen on the Palouse. The Stanford kicker is, in fact, hurt. So don't be shocked if Stanford misses a field goal. Oh, my God. Really? But, uh, but, 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 look, you give, give, give me David Shaw on triple revenge anytime. On the short line, come on, one and a half, just win the game. Yeah, give me the Cardinals. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to. If I did not know that about the Stanford kicker, I, I'm going to go ahead to head. Well, there's absolutely yeah, there's absolutely no reason. Uh, Stanford should be favored by more. I, the fact that they're only favored by one and a half is is a huge red flag. I, you think the bookie set me a little trap, huh? Yes, you know, yeah, I'm, I think I'm just walking up like a greedy, greedy little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, Stanford beat Oregon. Whack. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to be the one getting fat off a nice piece of cheese that that I got from the money store, also known as the sports book. Go, (laughs) mousetrap. Break his neck. um, Although that would be a good animation to have. I got to try and find a good mousetrap animation. Uh... Yeah, Stanford. Yeah, now Stanford's a little bit banged up. I can understand why the line is shorter than you would like, just straight up power rate it. Um, Stanford's a little banged up, but uh, but I, I I like it when one coach is not focused and the other coach is focused. I mean that's that's why I've been getting in front of Urban Meyer and the pros, and that angle has been working out for me. Oh God, um, oh God, a- NFL. Focused. He's not <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the uh, the news events in uh, NFL coaching quarters have been very interesting as of late. Listen, Dave Chappelle was right. You could say whatever you want to say about the blacks. You mess with the gays, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you think would be? Who, who do you think – because, like, the Raiders are obviously going to hire someone that's, like, not very competent, right? So who do you think do – you, who do you think the, the Raiders' next head coach is going to be? Um, I'm just thrilled they did not promote Tom Cable back to head coach. Because he's a good job. They are not doing that. Um, I 
don't want to be optimistic that they'll make a sane pick. A good move would be um, the enemy, Andy Reid's offensive head coach. Yeah, that's not going to happen, though. And it's going to be someone – it's going to be – it's, it's, it's going to be Todd Bowles or Jeff Fisher, like something, so, <laughs> something embarrassing. Jeff Fisher would be rough. That would be rough. And what was, what was wrong with Todd Gable? He went 6-0 and in the division, okay? He threw a projector at someone's head. Different times. Different times. And you would do the same thing, too. That's entirely possible that I would just be totally fucked up as a head coach. That's entirely <laughs> possible. Because yeah. the job is intense. You have a lot of power within the building. Yes. It's entirely possible. But, but, uh, but I would be doing better than Urban. I'd still be doing better than Urban. Let me just emphasize oof. that. Oof. I would be working every day. I wouldn't go out to celebrate after I cover. No, he did not beat Cincy when he went out looking for girl. He just covered. Come on. Um, did you know that in that bar there was um, a drawing? Like there's an Ohio State mural on the on basically like this little portion along the ceiling. And there was a drawing of Urban and his wife hugging. At that bar. This guy's a joke. Oh, yep. And, that, and oh, yeah, that's right. Bonus pick. Lay the three and a half with the Finns in London. It's going to be a get right game for Miami. Fucking count on that, my friends. Um, and let's wrap this up with, with maybe a discussion of a quick bonus pick. You said you want, wanted to talk about um, Vatek okay. Pitt. So and then you striked it. That, you striked it. I personally, I will be betting on Pitt and the points, um, really? though I don't feel comfortable about it, but that's what I will be doing. All right. Tell me why. Because, I mean, I will split on the side. I feel like Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kenny Pitt's having a great season so far. Uh, Virginia Tech, like, they couldn't even close out that win versus a not that good Notre Dame team. Um, but as I said, this is ACC and, and probably the smarter thing is just take the underdog with the points. But I, I, I'm i dumb, so that's why I'll be betting on, on Pitt. Pitt has played the offense. They're playing fast this season. And you yeah. like the way that looks. Yeah, all right. Hey, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. I've been working out of the uh, – not now because I'm in quarantine, but I've been working out of the, the Brooklyn Navy Yard, and I absolutely have no idea why. Um, every few weeks, there's a Pitt Panthers bus that goes through the Navy Yard. Like, I have no idea why it's there. So maybe the, they, like, play girls volleyball at Baruch or something. I have no idea. But anyway, 